pragmatic developments. Uh, this video today, what we're going to show you is how to create an absolutely free email signature. Now that might sound pretty basic uh, or to some of you it might be pretty complex because it can be frustrating how many different ways you can create an email signature. Sometimes it won't even show up properly depending on the device you're on. Sometimes it'll add an attachment because there's an image in there and that'll confuse your clients looking for an attachment. But what we're going to show you today is how to use a very basic free tool that's going to work on every single platform and it's going to be based on HTML code, meaning the signature itself will show up not as an attachment, but as part of the email body, uh, which proves a, a very clean uh, slate and also will work with every single uh, device you use, whether it's Mac, Windows, Android, iPhone, etc. It's going to work. So to begin with, uh, go to your, your Google search and you're going to look for what's called the HubSpot email signature template. Now. HubSpot is a CRM uh, program. It's an awesome program. It is quite pricey, um, but within that program itself, HubSpot does offer free tools that you don't even need to sign up for. You can just use their built-in powerful uh, program features that they have uh, right out the gate. So when you Google HubSpot, you'll see this free email signature template. Click on it and it's gonna pop up. You don't even need to log in. You just start creating your template right away within HubSpot's website. And you'll see here on the left-hand side, it actually gives uh, tons of different templates depending on how you want that to look based on the image you upload, et cetera. Um, I'm just gonna use template number one, keep it pretty simple. You'll see here, I already have a template in place um, to, to use, but we're gonna change that. We're gonna tweak it for a new employee that's joined our, our business and we're gonna make that, that uh, email signature work from. So on the left-hand side, you're gonna simply just type in their name, what they do, the business they, they work for, which is obviously your business, uh, whatever phone numbers they have, whatever email you want, whatever um, website address that you want, so forth. So fill in all that data. If you wanna put the address of your business, if, it, if you have clients come to your business or legally you have to present your address, you can put that in that section as well. You'll see it automatically fills out that information for you on the, uh, the design uh, UI on the right hand side and then you can change your theme color so you can get really fancy if you know uh, your hex code for your brand you can change the color to match everything that's on your websites or your your printed flyers etc uh, so you can change uh, whatever colors for the link the banner which I've already done uh, to match our branding and then um, you can change your font your font size if you want it quite large or if you want it nice and small uh, that's a nice basic feature and then we move over to uh, the imaging. So maybe you wanna put a profile picture of your new employee and you also want a picture of your, your company logo. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And you'll notice you don't actually upload the image. And this is really important because what this email signature is going to do is it's gonna pull the image from a shared file online so that it doesn't upload as an attachment. So it looks like an attachment on your email, but it finds the source online. And the best option to use for this, which I recommend is Dropbox. Number one, it's absolutely free. Uh, so you don't have to pay for Dropbox. And number two, it's easy to share the file so that, that uh, it'll link to it. So very simply, I'm gonna find a picture of the employee. Uh, he's, a, he's a fine looking young man that we've uh, joined to our business here. Now this is the image I'm going to use. Uh, for this specific branding, I'm using uh, the Mac Preview app that's built into Mac. You could use anything for this, Microsoft Paint, you could use Google Draw, whatever, just to, to get this image uh, cropped or fitted however you want. So I'm gonna use <clears throat> the, the Mac drawing and I'd like to do a circle picture uh, as that's kind of what the branding we've decided to do. So on the Mac, when you, you pull the circle, as you're pulling it down, you wanna hold shift because it's gonna do a perfect circle as you hold shift. And so I'm gonna get his pictures, uh, the main area that I want into the picture, just a little bit smaller. There we go, that looks good. I'm gonna crop it, convert that to a PNG. There we go, nice circle picture. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna close that. And you're gonna see over here, there's the new cropped image, which I'm gonna drag into Dropbox. So I've dragged it in. So it's now uploaded. So here's the picture of our new employee. 
And very simply, now that it's in Dropbox, I'm gonna share it. So I'm gonna create a shared link. Uh, I'm gonna go down here, create link. This is a view link. I'm gonna copy that link. The link is now copied. Go back to my e email signature profile pic. I'm gonna paste that in there let it load and there's the picture of our employee. Nice little uh, profile picture for him. And then we also have our company logo, which we already had uh, based on you know our, our pre-shared image. So take your company logo, put it into Dropbox, create the shared link, post that link into, the, into that, um, that category right there and it'll pop up your logo based on that. So we got the profile pic, we got that information, we got uh, basically everything we need. You can, uh, you can even create an extra button if you want, or you can delete this button completely, which I'm going to do just to keep it nice and clean. Um, you'll see here that HubSpot has what's called create your own free signature. I'm gonna show you how to remove that. So obviously they're trying to brand and help people <laughs> find them so they can use their other tools, but you can delete that completely from your signature when adding it to all your, your different platforms. So I'm going to now create the signature now that I have it looking exactly like I, I have it. I'm going to answer a few questions for HubSpot because they're going to want to know what I got going on for my business and hopefully they can reach out to me and provide me their services. So here's my shiny new email signature just for you. Now here's the best part about this signature is you can literally copy it to any imaginable source. Okay, So you can add it to Outlook, you can add it to Gmail, you can just simply copy the signature and paste it into whatever platform you want. And this is gonna work with the majority of any platform that you use out there. For example, if, if you have Microsoft Office and you wanna log into office.com and you wanna go and, and put it into your online um, uh, Outlook um, settings in the, back, in the back, you can do that through the web app. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then also with Gmail, same thing. If you go to the Gmail settings, you can just copy that signature, paste it into Gmail, and it'll show up as a, as a code for that. Now, the one difference here that's really, really challenging is, uh, to, to make sure that this, this email signature works properly is to connect it to Mac Mail or Apple Mail. And so when you do that, you, it's a little more technical, and that's what we're gonna show you in the rest of this video on how to do that because with Mac Mail, it's not as simple just to paste that information into the email. You actually have to go into the back end of the code uh, for the Mail app and paste it in as a, as a table element so it pop shows up properly. So I'm gonna show you that quite, quite simply here. So when you open your Mac Mail, you go Mail, Preferences, let that think for a second. And then, so once you're under your preferences in Mac Mail, you're gonna go over to accounts, okay? Or sorry, general. Nope, over here to the right, it says uh, signatures. So these are all your signatures depending on what email addresses you have. Uh, I'm gonna simply just create a new signature under uh, this one email here. So I'm gonna hit plus, and I'm just gonna write test, okay? So now I've created that test email signature. So, because here's the problem. When you go to, if you just pasted this into Mac Mail, it doesn't show up properly. The code isn't communicating correctly with the HTML. So it's not gonna look the way you designed it. So we're gonna make it look the way it's supposed to be designed by putting it directly into the HTML source itself. So I'm gonna delete that, go test. That email signature is now created. Now what we're gonna do is go back to our, our desktop and under Finder, you're gonna go click Go, and then you have to go to Folder, and then you're gonna see this link here. You're gonna go root slash library slash documents slash com apple slash data slash version four slash signatures, okay? Write that down. You're gonna type that in, go. Then you're gonna scroll down to find mail. So here's mail version seven. Now here, it, when I put that code in, it said version four. Sometimes it might be version seven, version eight, version three, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just find whatever version that is. And then once you get into the main version, you're going to go down to mail data. And then you'll see a folder called signatures. Click on signatures. Now these are all the coded signatures in the background for Mac Mail. And what you'll see is there's a modified version here. 
today. It looks like I created one at 456, which is exactly a minute ago. And this specific one was that one that I typed in as a test. So I'm gonna open that one. I'm gonna click open with, go other, and you're gonna search for text edit, which is a basic platform to read the code that that email is trying to see, uh, translate. And here's just a bunch of random code that is trying to translate that email signature. So very simply, I'm gonna go back to the HubSpot, copy a signature co source code, click on that, not the copy signature, but the source code I'm gonna copy. Then I'm gonna go back to the text edit and I'm gonna delete everything under the body. So de delete that completely and paste it in. And this is gonna paste the source code that you created under uh, the HubSpot tool. Now I'm gonna go File, Save. Now after I've saved it, this is very, very important. I've saved this specific one at 4.58 p.m. I'm going to right click on it, click Get Info, and I'm going to lock it. And you have to lock it because if you don't lock that file, it'll just retranslate to the old email signature because it thinks it wants to revert to whatever you did before because you manually put it in. So lock that source code, close that now, that window's done, close this. Also, you're gonna wanna now close Mac Mail, so close that completely. Give it a second to uh, close. And then reopen Mac Mail. So now it's open again. I'm gonna compose an email. And if I go to that admin at pragmatic.onl, you'll see on the right hand side here, two different options, signature nine. And there's my new signature that I created in HubSpot. And it works perfectly within Mac Mail. This is the only complex route you have to go to make sure uh, the signature shows up perfectly. And it's gonna look excellent on Mac Mail. Other than that, any other source, for example, uh, iOS, an iPhone or an iPad, you don't have to copy the source code. You just copy the signature, paste it into your email signature on the iPhone or the iPad. Or if you're just gonna open your uh, Office Mail, you go to your settings under Office Mail, uh, under your settings tab. Just gotta move my, my mugshot out of the way here. View all Outlook settings and you're gonna scroll down until you see uh, general appearance. Sorry, it's under mail, compose and reply. Now under compose and reply, here's your email signature. Very simply, go back to HubSpot, copy the signature, paste it in. And here it looks, it's, it'll look exactly the way it needs to be. You don't have to deal with any source code. Uh, the Outlook online platform's awesome for that. Gmail's also awesome for that. So really, you just have to copy that source code in there. It'll create that, that signature based on that. So really, uh, it's a very simple process. And the best part about using this specific tool is it works with every platform. Yes, the Mac Mail platform is a little more challenging, but if you follow the steps, go into the background of the source code for the Mac Mail, create the HTML core, uh, source code, it's gonna pop up beautifully. Every other platform, no problem, and uh, you won't have any future emails issues with uh, attachments showing when they shouldn't be, um, and it's also just gonna look beautiful and, and um, synchronize across all the platforms that you plan to, to use. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was valuable for you. Um, please uh, be persistent, be patient, Take your time with this. This is something that, you know, once you get set up and you get used to doing it, this is gonna be an awesome way to, to brand your image. And with everything going on in the world right now, with your online presence, you have to have a nice, beautiful image. So taking 10 to 15 minutes to learn how to do this and then implement it across your business is gonna prove very valuable uh, for future prospects for your clients. Thank you.